Hello everyone. Welcome back to Wildlifepedia. Today let's see some facts about gorillas. Gorillas are one of our closest living relatives, after chimpanzees and bonobos. Gorillas diverged from a common ancestor the African apes about 5 million years ago, and belong to the family hominidae. There are two species of gorillas, they are eastern and western gorillas. Each species splits into two subspecies. The four gorilla subspecies are eastern lowland gorillas, eastern mountain gorillas, western cross river gorillas, and western lowland gorillas. Gorillas spend a lot of time moving around their habitat in family groups, called as troops. Each of their troop can contain up to 30 gorillas, this usually includes a dominant male, several females, and their young ones. Gorilla size varies by species. Most adults measure somewhere between 4 and 6 feet tall when standing on their hind legs. Western gorilla weighs 150 to 400 pounds, whereas the biggest gorilla's eastern lowland can weigh up to 550 pounds in the wild. Gorilla's arms are longer than their legs, which makes it easier for them to walk on all fours. They usually walk on the knuckles of their hands, which is referred as knuckle walking. Though they are capable of walking on two legs, but only for short distances. Gorillas in the wild can live up to 40 years. In captivity, their lifespan can be considerably longer, averaging about 50 years. The oldest known gorilla was a female that lived at Ohio's Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. She lived to be 60 years old, and died in 2017. Eastern gorilla habitat includes altitudes as high as 13,000 feet above sea level, but the western gorilla habitat prefer lower altitudes. Western lowland gorillas are the most widely distributed subspecies. They inhabit Cameroon, Nigeria, the Central African Republic, the Republic of Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, and Angola. Gorillas don't often require resources of fresh water for hydration. They generally get enough moisture from the food they eat, and the morning dew on it. Western lowland gorillas are the most populated among all of the gorilla subspecies. There are now over 360,000 in the wild and over 4,000 in zoos. This is partly because they have the widest habitat range. Eastern lowland gorillas are also known as Grower's gorilla. Sadly, there are only about 4,000 of them remaining in the wild, which is a sharp decline from an estimated population of around 17,000 animals in the 1990s. Since then the gorilla's habitat has shrunk from 8,000 plus to 4,000 square miles, and they now occupy just 13% of their natural habitat. Eastern lowland gorillas are the largest of all four subspecies. They are differentiated from other subspecies by a stockier body, larger hands, and a shorter muzzle. Cross River gorillas are the most critically endangered gorillas, with a projected population of under 300 remaining. The Eastern Lowland Gorilla is also listed as critically endangered, with less than 3,500 left in the wild, as is as the Western Lowland Gorilla. There are only around 1,000 mountain gorillas left, but they were reclassified as endangered in 2018 because their population has now been increased by 50% since 2007. Gorillas are mostly herbivores, which means they only eat plants. They can eat up to 30 kilograms containing stems, bamboo shoots and fruits. Western lowland gorillas also have an appetite for termites and ants, and break open termite nests to eat the larvae. Some subspecies have been known to eat insects and even snails. Male gorillas are 10 times stronger than an average human. Their bite is more powerful than a lion's bite. They only use their full strength when they feel threatened. Do you know a gorilla's nose prints are as unique as human fingerprints? When young males reach the age of 8 to 11, they will usually join another group or form a new group. Gorillas live in fairly stable social groups comprising of one adult male usually referred as the silverback, because of the silver hair on his back, which signals full adulthood. Scientists have shown that gorillas display individual personalities. 
gorillas have been observed displaying emotions such as grief and compassion for other primates, including humans. Each gorilla family group live within relatively small areas of land. Different groups can however occupy converging areas and coexist peacefully. Gorillas will groom each other by combing each other with their fingers and teeth. This, social grooming, is an important aspect of gorilla groups, which helps to establish and reinforce social bonds. Females will give birth at the age of 10, and will have offspring every 3 to 4 years. Gorillas have a gestation period of 9 months like humans, infants usually weigh approximately 4 pounds. Gorillas spend most of their time on the ground rather than in the trees, and will make new nests on the ground each night. Gorillas use sound to locate each other, and sometimes to show their emotions. When they are angry or aggressive, they show their emotions by beating of chests, charging are quite rare, but will be used by male gorillas as a warning if surprised or threatened. They teach survival skills to young, like searching for food. Gorillas are smart, they are capable of learning basic human signs just as chimpanzees and orangutans. All species are endangered due to habitat loss and hunting, amongst other threats. However the Cross River Gorilla is the rarest with fewer than 300 wild individuals remaining in small isolated populations in Nigeria and Cameroon. Sadly, gorillas are critically endangered. The biggest threat they face is habitat destruction, which leaves gorillas with fewer safe spaces to live. As their natural habitat declines, because of that, they have to venture closer to areas where humans live, where they're more likely to catch other diseases or fall victim to poaching. Thank you for watching our video about gorillas. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos about wild animals and wildlife.